So now that we looked at channel economics for direct sales, let's go take a look at what the channel economics would look like if we were selling through an indirect channel, resellers. So as you can see, we still have the same cost of goods to manufacture the product as before, $33. Now what's kind of interesting is if we look at the R&D selling cost and general administration cost, our R&D might be the same and keeping the lights on in the building might be the same, but our selling costs are lower because we're selling through resellers. We still need a direct salesperson, but this time instead of them talking to every possible end user, they're actually talking to a few number of resellers. So let's say instead of $20, our SG&A sales, general and admin cost plus R&D this time is $15 rather than 20. And that the total of getting the product out the door is now $48. Just like before, our list price is $100, and in the store, the end user expects maybe a 10% discount, and so the revenue to the sales channel this time, not to us, is $90. But this time, we have resellers, and the resellers don't work for us. They're the ones actually selling the product, and they take the difference between $90 and let's say $70, which they're going to pay us. And so their profit is $20 for carrying, stocking, and reselling our product. And our profit is just $22 this time because we're selling through someone else. But remember, our costs were lower. So one of the trade-offs in using what's called an indirect channel is that your selling costs are lower, but you're giving a big chunk of your profit to other people not part of your company.